as the St. Louis Cardinals visit the Chicago Cubs. Rivalry game is super close in the standings. This one's on Apple TV, so no one can watch it. I want to acknowledge Alex Faust is a fantastic broadcaster. We'll miss you in the local hockey market, though. Ottawa, but first to the Kings win streak, six in a row. Speaking of six game win streaks, the Cardinals have won it six in a row. Let's start off Outside. with a ball. That's important. I, I know it's a meaningless ball at the beginning of the game, but you'll see why. So that'll bring up Nico Horner. Turnabout fair play. We're checking out the other side of the zone. Just go with me on this one. The Cardinals score first. The third. Going to be a tough play. Then the Cubs score. His first career major league home run for Miles Mastroboni. What a super awesome baseball name, by the way. Cubs take the lead. Runner takes off. Talkman slaps it the other way and stays fair. Then St. Louis comes back to pull within one. Up the middle. And it is now 4-3 in the eighth inning. Oh. Injuries. Outside. If you can't tell what I'm doing yet with the replays, I'm looking at the edge work. What are these calls? They're all balls for now. Oh, hold on. This one wasn't a horizontal edge work pitch, but I thought it was interesting to look at anyway. Now oh, that's a five pitch walk. The first batter of the inning walks, which brings up the second batter, Walker, who gets away from Amaya. Nobody out the top. Walks. I want to go back to the pass ball 1.06 px. It means the pitch is 1.06 feet from center. We have a video explaining how these numbers work. So if you're curious or get confused about that, please watch it. It'll clarify some things. The computer zero error is 0 0.83. So numbers greater than that, the computer calls a ball. The buffer zone is 0.91, so this pitch being over 1 is greater than 0.91, greater than 0.83. It's a ball under all sets. He faces a Tyler O'Neill at second, taking off for third. So after all of that, the bases will be loaded because the Cubs have, well, locked the bases loaded. And it's ball four. That brings up Alec Burleson, pinch hitting, who takes balls one, one away in the eighth. ball two, two and up. Ball three, and, huh? Okay, so at PX of absolute 0.88, this one's within that margin of error, the buffer zone. So this is an acceptable call. Kinda. Generous strike. Burleson looks less than thrilled. This is a PX value of negative 1.09. There have been pitches that have been closer than this one that have been balled. This one was called a strike. The reason that I think it happens is because the pitcher kept throwing super far outside on that side of the plate, and the umpire just adjusted his zone way too much over there, and it's about to lead to an ejection. Burleson, roller up the middle, fielded by Horner to the back for one. Got him! Burleson fired up, and he has been thrown out. So while I'm thinking that turn and walk away might have helped here, I also know the player yelled across the field and said some things that were probably not too nice. Nice hat, by the way. I've said it before. I don't like when umpires do the backhanded chew fly flick of the wrist. I don't like when they say get the F out of here. Sometimes you can do whatever you want, apparently. But seeing as we went from RBI walk to inning ending double play, let's face it. This is a pinch hitter deliberately yelling across the field. His day was done. He had nothing to lose. I'm just not a fan of the extra fanfare seeming to almost gloat that you're ejecting him. Marmol's calm, so he understands the player deserved to get tossed. At least no one's playing any favorites, and this is how the Cardinals get their first loss in seven games.